this is a video response to Idic Beer. Uh, Idic Beer seems to think there's people out there who have an addiction. I just want to prove that, no, you're wrong. I'm sorry, Nick. We're not addicted. This is just life. But to prove I don't have an issue, I'll show you what I've picked up in the last 68 weeks, which, as you'll agree, anyone having a hobby, there's no more or no less than what people would pick up. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, we have shown an interest in Malifaux, and part of that interest means you've got to buy stuff. We both have crews uh, that are painted, and I even have some extra. But, any hobby, you can't just go with what you have and what you play with. You've got to pick up more. Well, there's no point. You know, you as well just not bother them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what I've picked up in the past couple of months from Malifaux and you can decide whether it's wrong. Um, the most recent purchase being this University of Transmortis. Um, now I'm going to say I didn't read up very much about it because it was Malifaux and said weird, then I bought it. As anyone would do. Um, along with that I also picked up some more stuff which I'm happy to go through with you. I picked up oops, another box set, so it's not a crew. I, I quite like the Resurrectionist so I picked up this, Molly. picked up another chap, sorry about the light, uh, he's called the Dead Rider. Who doesn't want a horse like that? Come on. Again, still not seeing an issue. Necrotic machine? Why not? Sebastian, the morgue assistant? Why not? Grave Spirit, Necroponks, Dr. Douglas McMorning, good master, especially if you're into slinging a scalpel, Canine Remains, because we all know you've got to have dead dogs in any game you play. Punk Zombies, of which I already have, but again, you can never have enough Punk Zombies. I'm sure you all agree with that. And last, but by no means least, a Zombie Chihuahua. Jesus, sorry for the light, guys. There you go, a Zombie Chihuahua, come on. So, that's all I picked up from Alifo. Now, that, you'll agree that's not a lot, and that's not beyond, you know, that's average for a hobby, yeah? But you'll also all agree that you can't just have one, like keep yourself into one game. It's got to be more of the games that you're playing. Just in case you ever go to, you know, the game club and there's no one there to play the game you've got, you've got to cover the bases. So with that in mind, I picked up another game. It's called Relics. Now, when I first saw Relics, no, it certainly wasn't for me. Um, some scary wee models, stitched up wee things, wee puppet things, no, not for me. But, they started bringing out some different models and all of a sudden I thought, no, I can get into this game. So, I picked up this, this is a rule book. Now, why, when you buy a rule book, would you not pick up the limited edition one if it was there? Whether it's limited edition or not, you don't really care because it says it is. Then you've got to get it. So I allegedly have number 100 of 200. Good job. Now with every game, everyone likes a starter set. So I did pick this one up on eBay, the Britannian starter set. Uh, which, why not? I then picked up this fella on eBay. There we go. A 
again I apologise for the light, I could have put a bit more thought into it but uh, you know, um, who apparently is part of the new Eam. So having done that and then sent off to Tor Gaming and picked up the new Eam starter set. I must admit, just as a wee aside, the models here are fantastic. Just come on. Okay, is that focus on? Sorry. That's just an awesome wee model. So I'm going to have so much fun with these. So I think you'll see that I've covered off that so I can now that's two games. If I ever decide to go and play a game, I've got two games I can play. It wasn't enough, was it? No. Through the post the other day came this. Now, I'm going to open it. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This was a Kickstarter. I don't even know what the Kickstarter was. I just saw that it had a gun interchangeable bits and I just thought wow, how cool would that be I can see some magnetic fun going on so I bought this I paid for it through the Kickstarter and I genuinely don't know who it is so I'll have to get back on the Kickstarter website and see what we have also everyone loves an eBay bargain and this was a salute miniature from 2005 which I picked up for 99 pence plus delivery which I think, was, I think all in all I paid about £3 and there what we have is this it's George and the Dragon now of course you need to be buying things like this because you do don't you why wouldn't you it's not an addiction it's just because it's part of, you can't call yourself a hobbyist and not buy stuff for the hobby. Now, as you've seen possibly in an earlier video, Sean has decided we're going to play Dust Tactics, um, which I must admit I am enjoying it and I will show you another video. We have actually picked up some other stuff, but I'm not going to that in a minute. But Dust Tactics also has a similar game, but not played on the tabletop but actually on no not played on a board oh my god but on a tabletop and it's Dust Warfare so I thought well I'll pick up the Dust Warfare rule book just to see what that's like so now have another game it's all good but there's a chap on YouTube a new icon who I think his channel is now new icon too he makes some games, he's part of the Crush Pop Productions. So he did this game, this is the rule set here, Toxic Holocaust 2. So, in the interest of supporting him, I picked this up. Um, now you'll see, it's, it's all in black and white. But it's actually quite a good story. Loads of good fluff. Um, and it looks like a good game. Never played it, but I will, one day. So, he's brought out a follow-up to that. Waste in space. So, yeah, you've got to, you can't not buy that one. And not buy that. You've got to do it. But, look at this one. This one's all colour. Although everything I'm looking at here is black and white. But honest, Governor, the pages are in colour. Right. There's some colour there. Right, okay, there is colour in this. There you go, look. Right, we have colour. This one is all black and white. So I'm going to have to go back and get this in colour now, haven't I? I can't, I can't have that in colour and not that in colour. Yeah? Now that's not an addiction. That's, not, that's just... It's a hobby in fact. I'm not trying to muck it about. It's true. So what I'm trying to say... Everyone's going to agree. What you've just saw there is in no way an addiction. I don't have a problem at all. The problem is Nick thinking people have an addiction. The problem all lies with Nick and his Eldar and his Necrons 
and he's turning. He's the guy with the problem, nobody else. What I've done is I've spread myself across various gaming systems. He's stuck with one. That's the problem. That's the issue. Nick, please seek help. You need help. You have a problem. I, on the other hand, I'm fine. Thank you. Bye.